Hey what's up guys welcome back to PTS CAD expert and myself architect kumar kapadia from the city of surat in gujarat a bit about myself i completed my bachelor's in architecture in 2010 and recently in 2021 i completed my masters in urban and regional planning and have 10 plus years of experience working with rabbit so guys i have a very exciting news for you PTS CAD expert is launching a new course that is rabbit architecture a complete architectural model and bim Wherein I will teach you the end possibilities you can explore working with Revit and BIM. Also, I will give an overview about the visual scripting language, that is Dynamo, a plugin of Revit. The agenda is very simple and clear: keep learning and keep growing. Knowledge might be wisdom and power, but it's much more powerful when shared. Because if only one person knows how to do something, that often prevents the community to develop and grow. So in this session, I'll brief you out what the entire course is all about. An architectural project includes the various phases, starting from conceptual design ex- exercise to preparation of presentation drawings, which, after reach an agreement with client, goes to the local governing authority for the approval. And simultaneously, another set goes to the structural designer, which is finally reverted back to the architect for the preparation of working drawings, or you can say construction drawings. The working units of all the segments of drawings are different. and we end up making multiple repetitions of the same set of drawings in different units layers types and system depending upon the receiving agency this is where revit and bim comes in building information modeling or bim for short is a holistic process of creating and managing the information for a built asset based on an intelligent model and enabled by a cloud platform bim integrates structured multidisciplinary data to produce a digital representation of an asset across its life cycle starting from planning to design and construction and various operation in short bim is everything on same platform in one place if you are in a design fraternity today especially for those in construction industry there are several phases to a project with various stakeholders and working entities to set up my case or rather revit's case as a desirable bim platform let's take an example of a residential project a standard ground plus two story structure from an architectural point of view i have taken the most commonly used elements in the project that is the lower system the curtain panels etc i will show you that if revit is used as a platform and if a bim consultant is appointed how efficiently the work can be coordinated and executed within stipulated time frame with much less of chaos so this is a g plus 2 hypothetical residential villa let's look at this option it's pretty much basic sloping roof it doesn't have any facade treatment it has no weather shades on doors and windows etc let's switch on to another option which has a typical horizontal and vertical louver system which serves as a shading device for the openings on the southwest as well as also look at facade look visually interesting from architectural point of view let's try multiple configuration within within the same design solution that is the family on the right side can be switched on to a different option just by changing its type that is type a similarly the facade on the left side can also be altered between different options and different type that is type a okay Let's make this entire frame a fixed curtain panel built in with fixed operable horizontal and vertical louver. Each of this built-in panels are an embedded family which has the few editable parameters within to compute the geometry to get several different configurations until you are satisfied with one. For example, I can change the blade spacing which will change the number of louvers within. Also I can change the angle associated with it. now the same routine follows for the door and windows the staircase the furniture the curtain panel system and each of the 3d element in this configuration for example if i select this door and this window you can see the parameters associated with it can be edited for example i can change the awning swing angle the 3d swing angle and can also add a sunshade extension to it the same applies for this door that is i can open this door and shut it and so on 
from the view properties dialog box i can also change few properties associated with it that is i can change the transom height the overall height and the overall width this is because each of this generic model is an embedded family which is built in using a different interface and assigning and constraining it with several different parametric equations which controls this 3d model so these are the various parametric equations that is controlling this 3d model the reason of showing you this family file is what i did is just one way of doing it but which can be done on multiple ways based on your design and this design options can be used from project to project with few alterations since every architect has few standard details which reflects in many of their project and once made you don't have to make the other sets repeatedly okay forget it let's assume that this is a facade of a commercial complex and need to be treated from architectural point of view so let's switch on to another option which shows the facade treatment for the for the building now an overview of the plugin dynamo which is also get a different working interface using scripting language you can script out various different options parametric options with n possibilities these are the various different options the facade can be computed with again i am not talking about the design concepts or the logic within these options are just just the arrangement of different geometrical shapes just to show that various different configurations can be worked out and each of the design script can be computed in n different ways to get n different options this options shows the vertical strips which rotates at different angles and different heights along a sine curve again this option shows the canvas which visually appears like a fabric or a piece of cloth with deformation in it okay why why assume let's take an example of a commercial building and let me show you the application of this parametric options onto a building facade these are the several options the facade can be treated with using scripting language dynamo So far this was all about design options for the exterior building facade coming back to this option where the parameters are edited with the numbers and configuration which i personally like now you can see these are the various categories of drawing with the details of one single structure with various discipline the structural drawings with tentative beam column location given by the structural designer the set of presentation drawings with floor plans at different level the road level plan the ground floor plan and the first upper ground floor layout The first and foremost advantage of using Revit is one can switch between various different working units with just one click that is from metric to imperial and vice versa so the biggest problem of rescaling the drawings with various um units with micro errors of say 0.1 when multiplied for the whole project resulting in huge blunder is eliminated now this is the entire site plan then comes the set of working drawings or you can say construction drawings with all the dimensions and details which are used for execution on site the ceiling plan for the upper ground floor others not yet detailed out 
the staircase leading from road level to upper ground floor. Its section. Now the longitudinal and horizontal building sections. Now I would like to bring to your notice that any of this section or drawing can be switched on to a different type just by changing the visibility of the categories within. For example, I can change this presentation section by changing the discipline to realistic and by turning on the furniture category. The same applies for the elevations. That is, I can change the discipline to realistic and turn on the shadows giving some depth to the drawing converting it into a presentation elevation. These are the detailed drawings. This is the curtain wall on the southwest facade starting from upper ground floor elevated till terrace with all its details. This is the horizontal and vertical lower system again on the southwest facade which acts as a shading device for the huge openings for the intake of light. These are few rendered views from my project. You see this is basic rendering because Revit is not a rendering software and it cannot render views like 3D Max or other rendering platforms. If so inclined, one can install V-Ray, Lumion, Enscape or other platform for Revit for more re realistic renders. Further, a walkthrough can also be easily made in Revit. Now this set displays the area gross plan. Since the architects are often interested in calculation of space division, deciding the level of privacy that certain spaces demand. Another best thing about Revit is whenever one models a 3D element and properly feeds and constrains the parameters within, it allows to automatically generate a schedule associated with it. So again, a lot of labor work is avoided, it saves a lot of time. This is the door schedule for the entire project, the window schedule. And finally, the sheet composition. Now, of course, a designer will never issue the drawings in this format, but this is just to show you that various drawings of various different disciplines and various scales can be compiled together, together in one manner, in this manner. So guys, that's all for Revit and BIM that is building information modeling. Thank you for watching the video and if you think that Revit BIM is the next big thing in the Indian construction industry. Kindly enroll for this course and let's learn together and let's grow together. Good luck with Rabbit BIM and best wishes and see you soon.